Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements and a new mod, which we're going to talk about extensively. This is patch 4.2.6, which I'm calling Canary in the Save File. Now, as many of you probably saw earlier today, I released a new mod called Canary Save File Monitor. We are going to discuss that at length because it's very important that everybody in the Fallout 4 community gets to hear about this, especially mod authors. So if you know a mod author, tell them about this mod. Uh, but before we get into that, I was blown away by how many people joined us on Patreon. So I've, uh, I've been regularly making commentary that I understand that we're in a crazy situation in the world right now and that people should not feel bad about bailing on Patreon thing. I feel like every time somebody leaves, they send me a message apologizing. Do not apologize. I understand. Times are tough right now. But then after a small wave of people left, I got even more joining up. So we got to give you shout outs. I don't care how long this takes. There are a lot of you. Very much appreciate it. But uh, shout outs to Jay Hainsworth, The Dutch Rat, Baz Donitz, Joshua Tabaknek. Oh, I just butchered your name. I'm sorry, Joshua. Amy, Mark Taylor, Pablo Juan, Avelino Calaco. Oh, another one I just butchered. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Baron Anriel, Willie Roberts, and Justin Wagner. I am blown away that so many of you guys are finding the uh, resources to help us out even during these times of crisis. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we are going to continue developing. I think uh, all of the team, if uh, if anything, we've got more time than ever to work on Fallout 4 stuff. And uh, we are doing so. We are pushing real hard on uh, the next big thing for some settlements. So I can't uh, wait to share more information with you guys. But uh, thank you, patrons. You guys are helping us pull all this stuff off. All right, so let's talk Canary. So Canary in the save file, this is a, a uh, mining reference. If you don't know what that, what I'm, what that is referring to, go look up Canary in a coal mine. You will learn all about it. Uh, but basically, a couple weeks ago, I was playing in uh, my Fallout 4 Let's Play save, and I discovered a horrible engine bug that seems to have just wiped out a lot of important data in my save file. There was, I had no sign of it. I didn't have, the only reason I even figured it out is because a certain part of the mod I was certain should be working wasn't working. And uh, after digging into it deeper, I found out that 10 weeks ago, the game had decided to just wipe out a bunch of data. Turns out this can just happen anywhere into any mod. And so I, and I haven't figured out why, but I did figure out how to detect the issue. I figured out in two ways. One can be detected with a, a particular, at least for some settlements, with a particular console command. I've posted that on our forum so people can check their saves to see if they have this issue. But in general, to detect it going forward, because this can happen to any mod, the mods need to have this little piece of data stored in their mod in order for it to be checked. So the way Canary works is any mod that adds support for it, and it does not require a hard requirement. So if you're a mod author listening to this, you can add support for Canary without a hard requirement. I got a tutorial video on doing so it's very easy and uh, you just set up a little simple quest with a script that I've given you and it will let canary monitor the save file for your mod to have lost data and uh, if for players when you get that warning it's basically gonna say hey go back to your last save this one's probably screwed and I wish I had had this myself because I would have saved myself 10 weeks of lost playtime. Um, instead, this will just make it so that at worst you lose your last session, your last play session because uh, it'll tell you that that last save you made was corrupt. And one of the ways you can get around to that issue is then every time after you uh, make a save, if you uh, go just quickly check with, uh, just make a second one and then go check with Canary and see if they uh, if it was lost or uh, what I've what I've been doing since I made the mod is on my own playthrough is I. I load up the game, make a save, and and then check and see, and then load that save again to check and see if I get the canary error. That way, if it's my load order causing the, the issue or loading a certain mod is causing the issue, I will know about it right away. So far, though, I have not been able to replicate the actual issue. I will take a save that I know in the next few minutes is was going to have it based on my save file trail where I found the issue, and it doesn't repeat even with the exact same load order. So I don't even know what causes this. I'm guessing it's something with uh, when the file gets saved or it could be maybe when the game loads. It does not seem to be any pattern to it, which is why I think it's an engine level bug. Um, it could even be an F4SE thing. I don't know what it is. All I know is I can detect it now thanks to Canary. So go grab, your, do yourself a favor, grab Canary. It's available on Xbox and PC and uh, grab updates to some settlements and conqueror which will add support for it because any mod that wants to be monitored needs to add support for it same with salvage beacons and workshop plus i will be adding support for it to workshop framework very soon but we, this just happened to come about in the middle of a major update to workshop framework and i cannot add it in 
at this time because if I release the version of Workshop Framework that I'm midway through, it's just got a bunch of stuff that would likely be too broken to release in public. So I just happen to get caught at an awkward opportunity. It's not just script changes in Workshop Framework. I've got some ESM changes and I can't make any more tweaks to the ESM to add Canary support uh, and roll back. It would just, it's, it would just be a nightmare. So, uh, I will have that out very, very soon. Likely before the next some settlements patch, there'll be a new update to workshop framework with the specific intention of getting it out as quickly as possible to make sure that we have canary support in it. Okay. So that's enough of the boring, scary stuff. Let's get to the good stuff. So some settlements, I have done some major improvements. This was our, uh, our every every third or fourth patch I do, I focus on bug reports, quality of life. This was that one, and I got some major ones knocked out. So I've been sitting in the main menu here because one of the issues I want to show you that I resolved uh, requires me to have just loaded the game for you to see what I'm talking about. So often, if you are a player with a lot of add-on packs and you install, say, a new one, or you load into game and you immediately go trying to mess with your plots, you'll know that often a lot of that stuff is not available yet. You'll go in. And it'll take several minutes before all of the building plans you want to play with are even available. And that will still be the case the first time you install an add-on pack. It does take a few minutes for it to register. But uh, prior to this patch, the registration phase would have to be rebuilt every time you loaded the game. And this was a security mechanism. Well, I found a way, way better way to do it. And so you can see here, I'm loading back into a save that has already seen this patch. And instantly, all the building plans that were there before are available. So previously, I had been so terrified of a blank entry showing up in here, a corrupt entry, that uh, I was purging everything out. Turns out that's not necessary. And uh, so I improved the code, especially because most of you guys aren't uninstalling add-on packs all the time. Now, if you do find that you, after you uninstall an add-on pack, you go to access this menu and it crashes your game for some reason, it shouldn't, it wouldn't, didn't for me in testing, um, then just wait, wait a little longer for it to rebuild the menu because it will eventually clean out those old add-on packs. And the way I was able to do this was also a, uh, a general improvement to the way add-on pack registration works. So for those of you guys who get real deep into your save files, you are familiar with fall room tools, you know that the add-on pack startup portion of the mod can be really slow. It can cause lots of script backup and occasionally can cause stack dumps. It's really not great, especially if you have, you know, 100 add-on packs installed, which it turns out we have over 100 of them out in the community, which is just wild. Well, if uh, if you are in that boat, you will be very happy to hear that patch 4.2.6 resolves that, completely overhauls the registration system for add-on packs, makes it faster, makes it so they won't stack dump. It uh, is just a general overall improvement uh, at the scripting level for add-on packs <clears throat> excuse me and add-on pack authors you do not have to do a darn thing this just happens at the sim settlements level you can just continue to go on your merry way you don't even have to put out an update with anything at all in fact add-on pack authors i already built in support for canary for all of your add-ons um, that was compliments of uh, xv who went ahead and helped me Find all of your add-on packs and all of your add-on quests so that I could manually add support for that. So you guys are already covered. You have Canary support natively. Um, okay, so the other big things that I resolved this patch are related to Conqueror. So there have been a bevy of reports that I've never been able to replicate with Conqueror. Things like the uh, civilians turning on you when you're playing Liberator, the slaves turning on you when you're playing, trying to play with the slave, the slaver mechanics. The, uh, the speed of capturing an outpost and vassal just being abysmal. All of these things should be dramatically improved. I was able to directly find several bugs related to NPCs turning on you and fixed them. I don't know if I got them all because this is such a complex system, but I'm, uh, I, sh I feel much happier with the way all of that code is laid out now. It's been massively improved. The speed turnaround time on outposts and vassals, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you go to capture a new vassal and all of the settlers stay on their butts for a real long time. Uh, that time has been, been cut down by two to three times, I was uh, seeing dramatic improvements to the speed, same with our testing team. Now, I can't guarantee that that same boost for Xbox players, because you guys do are, are very heavily uh, CPU bound with scripting, so it could be that it's still a little bit slow for you guys, but on PC, you should find that it's substantially faster. You shouldn't feel like you're stuck waiting for 10 or 15 minutes before the uh, conversion has happened. That So that's a big improvement, and on top of that, I was also able to improve the pre-build code time. So if you are familiar with the uh, Conqueror pre-build system, you'll know it's a pretty lengthy process. Well, I found some ways to improve that. I don't know what percentage I wouldn't say because it really depends on how many city plans you're building, what level you're putting them to, how many settlement mods you have installed, etc. But it was a pretty significant improvement uh, overall in my little in my little quick tests and just looking at it from a uh, uh, pro stack profiling 
level for looking at my code and seeing the improvements in uh, milliseconds on different calls. So without going any nerdier into that, you should see improvements on that pre-build system. So uh, in overall, you should see Conqueror working better. You should see add-on packs working better. You should see the pre-build system working better. Everything's just kind of a little bit cleaned up. And then now with this Canary system, I am confident we're going to see a massive reduction in just general bugs with Fallout 4. Not necessarily because uh, I fixed anything with Canary, but because now you'll know about them when they happen. So it's likely that this issue I ran into my save file it, it matches up perfectly with a ton of bugs you guys have reported over the years that I've never been able to replicate or figure out what the heck is going on. Um, some examples of things you might have run into in your save files where you have had this bug and you didn't even know it would be things like auto assignment quit working, city plans get completely stuck and you're positive that you've got the night, the happiness requirements, etc. cetera. Um, the uh, recruitment of soldiers and conqueror could seize up and stop working. Any of these long running systems that are supposed to happen, you know, on a daily basis or every few hours in game, any of those systems could be victims to this. Uh, there's a whole bunch of data that just gets wiped out when this bug hits and there's no sign of it because as far as the, the way the game reports, everything is all fine. And it's, you would have to know to look for this particular issue, which is why I had to create canary. So please, guys, do me a favor. If you play with any mods that you think are, are script reliant, uh, definitely reach out to those mod authors. Uh, send, them, send them a link to Canary. Say, hey, hey, can you add support for this? King Gath says it doesn't require you to add a hard requirement, um, but it'll just make it make me feel better about me investing hundreds of hours into your mod. Because um, that's just a bit, like once I had that happen to myself, I was just like, this is, this is nuts. I can't play Fallout 4 anymore like this if I know that at any time my progress can just be silently wiped in the background. It was such a horrible feeling in the moment. So I'm glad we at least have this. Losing one play session, not the end of the world. Losing 10 weeks of play sessions was miserable. Uh, and I'm sure many of you guys have suffered the same thing. So hopefully now Canary puts us in a better boat going forward. And uh, for those of you on PC, if you ever get the Canary warning, there's a little button on there that'll say, how can I help? Click that. It's going to tell you how to send me some information that I can use to try and uh, ret retrace your steps and figure out what happened. Because my goal ultimately with Canary is to crowdsource us finding a solution. Let's find out what the heck is causing this. I'm going to get that information to Bethesda. I'll get that to the F4SC team. And let's try and figure out what the heck this is going, is going on with this. Because I don't know about you guys, but I want to play a lot more Fallout 4 over the next few years. and Because uh, I don't think we're getting a Fallout 5 anytime soon. And I would like my saves to be stable. So uh, let's, uh, let's get that information together. All right, I think uh, that about covers it. So the last thing we got to talk about is a t-shirt giveaway, another positive to end the video on. Uh, so those of you guys who are not familiar with this, every patch video, I give you a hashtag. Just use that along with some comment. So don't just comment this hashtag, put something else in there as well. You can say something nice about some settlements. You can tell me a funny story about it. You can re leave a bug report, just something to make sure it's not just a bunch of this hashtag spammed in my comments. Uh, and uh, those of you who do, you'll get, there's a drawing on Monday. One of you is going to get a t-shirt. I will uh, comment on your post asking you to get a hold of me in a, ver in a variety of ways. If I hear back from you in 20 hour 24 hours, I'll hook you up with the Sim Settlements t-shirt. And if I don't, I will pick somebody else. So this week we're going with hashtag black lung going to tie into that whole uh, mining canary thing uh, in a big bad way so hashtag black lung if you're interested in getting a sim settlements t-shirt comment that below and uh guys please go update your mods from me they will all have support for canary download canary tell your mod authors about it and uh yeah that'll that'll do us for today so uh hopefully uh next patch will be back to content not just bug fixes because hopefully i knocked out a lot of the bug fixes or a lot of the bugs and that uh, canary will detect the rest and we can uh we can go forward with new and exciting features all right guys take care and enjoy the mods <laughs>